What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactful Bass. And today we're down in Florida and we woke up, it is 28 degrees, the coldest it's been all year. So we're gonna go farther south down into Florida and do some urban fishing, some backyard fishing, try and catch some peacock bass, some largemouth, get south of these storms, let's go catch them. guys obviously the weather was super bad that's why we went down here the wind was sustained 20 blowing gusts of 40 but uh had a great day out of the water so i'm gonna overlay some audio just because we didn't have a chance to really talk to uh the camera with all the wind matt's hooked up these peacocks or peas we'll call them from from now on these peas fight so much harder than largemouth and smallmouth um, but we were targeting them in these shade lines or any time we could get um, these overhangs. <laughs> nice one on the square bill. So both of us have never been here before. We're just exploring, trying to defrost from the the cold, cold mornings. Hooked up right here again. I'm throwing a, I'm actually throwing a jackhammer, a chatterbait. Matt's throwing a square bill, and we're just covering tons of, nice tons work. of water. <laughs> nice large mouth right there. So I was actually hopping that. Uh, I wasn't slow reeling. I was actually hopping and dropping, you know. Like almost like a lipless crank. Watch this blow up. <laughs> Even little one pound peas, they they hit so hard. They would come back, they hit so hard, sometimes they would just knock the bait out of the water. But, uh, oh. Matt hooks up to a really nice peacock here and uh, just owns him. It's like a four to five pounder. Definitely the fish we're after. Off. It takes some getting used to, you know, fishing next to these roads and overpasses and uh, ditch, just, just everything is, there's so much going on around you, but it's cool because there's so many different species, exotic species in these, in these ditches. And uh, because of the weather conditions, Matt actually slowed down and started throwing a, a 2.8 Kitek on a little underspin. And uh, you never know what you're going to catch. <laughs> I told him to flip it, but he's throwing five Belly. pound fluorocarbon. <laughs> <laughs> everything eats a 2.8. That's right, oh, everything wow. eats a 2.8. Be careful not to stand up in those things, man. You'll get spider webs all over you. So Matt gets owned by this one too. It's another nice pee. And I cut out a lot of the footage because it was like a two minute fight of him just rip and drag. see the wind's starting to lay down a little bit starting to heat up awesome of all things 
Thanks, buddy. So right down the way, I actually hook up right here. I was actually throwing a whopper plopper in there a couple casts before, and it, it missed the bait a couple times. So went with the spinner rod, slowed down with that little swim bait. Hear that drag ripping. <laughs> different one, huh? All yeah, these fish pretty. look so different. They all have different markings. I'm sure they're different types of, of peas, all the different species. That's but awesome. Missed the plopper, followed it up with the, the underspin. These things pull so hard. We watch this blow up. Just toilet flush. So once that wind started laying down and that light started getting lower, uh, we started playing more with the reaction baits, the top water baits, and it just got better and better. I apologize if there's any uh, graffiti that that uh, little munch munch might have been left in there. Nice Pete. <laughs> So we were actually throwing the, uh, actually I was throwing the little Whopper Plopper 90 and uh, I can't remember if we talked about it a little bit more in, into this video to the camera, but the 90, the 110, the 130, they all have different sounds and I tried the 110 and couldn't get any bites, but that 90 has such a smaller prop on it, it has such a higher pitch sound to it, it just drives these fish crazy and uh, worked really, really well. Look at the color of that fish. That fish is so pretty. Tiny Whopper Plopper, the new one, little Whopper Plopper 60. I don't know if you guys have even seen that one. Little tiny, little tiny 60. You get away with throwing that on a spinner rod too, but that higher pitch props, prop noise was the key. Is it? catching the peas all day and we got a nice large mouth on top water so cool when you catch both species thanks dude oh <laughs> I lose an absolute giant fish right here somewhere close maybe maybe double digit it was the you'll see Big, large mouth. Is it? Yeah. Do I need to lip him? Oh my goodness. Take your time. He ended up bending out Came my off. hooks. Shine. Dude, that fish was big. Did you see him out of the water? Yes. That fish was nine or ten pounds. Yeah. Dude, it was freaking giant. Oh, giant. It's heartbreaking. I'll tell you what, it's so much easier to watch Matt lose a fish than myself. It sucks. Big old head, big shoulders. 
Oh. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. I just got back in the truck. First time all day I've taken a breath without 20 plus mile an hour wind in my face. Tim is absent at the moment. He's, uh, you know, he's a little sour over that big one. I think that's gonna hurt for a little while. I don't know how clear the footage was for you guys. Uh, obviously it just happened, but that fish was nine to 10 pounds at a minimum. Came up, giant head shake. Uh, that one's gonna sting for a little bit. But today, all in all, was an amazing day. I mean, we pulled an absolute mulligan, right? We had plans, we were going largemouth fishing, that cold snap hit. I mean, it's cold down here. I wanted a sweatshirt on the way in this evening and we're clear down at the very southern end of Florida. I mean, it's cold, but the fish cooperated. We got to explore a new area, some different species, got to catch that cichlid, some peacocks, some largemouth, and we caught them some unique ways. How funny is it that we caught them on a 2.8 Kitek? I mean, that was a cool baits underspin with a 2.8, that is literally the only one we even have with us. You don't bring a 2.8 Kitek to Florida, right? We've got flipping sticks, but we tore the boat apart today <laughs> looking for anything we could throw. So it's so funny they were eating that. They were eating the little Whopper Plopper 60, which is an awesome bait. If you guys have missed it, it's a great size. And then Tim was catching them on the Whopper Plopper 90. That's what that giant largemouth ate. That's what those couple of really nice peacocks he caught came on. Uh, and then I caught a couple on the scamp as well, that square bill. So we'll link all the baits down in the video description, the gear we were using. Today was a completely random day, new fishery, new types of fish, but it worked out. When you're on the road, a lot of people think, you know, you're just out there fishing, you're having a great time. But when you're on the road, weather can throw you for a loop. We've had to move entire states before. Well, it's essentially what we did here. I mean, we drove literally to the other end of the state just on a whim to try and get away from that cold, but it panned out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed getting out there and catching those fish. It was a blast. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.